Hey guys, still here and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, operating with a replay because well, I wasn't uh, sadly recording the main gameplay. Um, we have a couple of sarks going up ahead, but I am not nearly as fast as that in my Crusader. Now it's a very urban map, and I actually quite like urban maps. Because with these, let's say, full city maps, you can, especially in these cars, <laughs> just race around and have some fun. Um, I, however, have not picked that because it's been my experience that people pick those early. And with picking those early, you tend to also get destroyed very early. I mean, they, I get it. You race up to a position, you capture it, and then you make yourself scarce. Or you die. Whichever happens first. No, it's one of the first times that I'm playing this map, and with that, I am trying to use my concealment. I mean, it is a fairly low tank, lower than this wall over here. I think only, ironically, my camouflage is sticking out. Uh, I'm trying to hold this position and see if there is any enemy coming down that road that I can spot. Because with my Crusader, my chances of actually getting a kill, well, aren't really that good. At least, I don't expect that they will. That is, unless I fight one of their uh, recon vehicles. One of their uh, Pumas, for example. Anyway, lacking those, I am moving up. We have a couple of enemies up ahead. I got a friendly M4A3, as well as my squad mate, which was just a random a KV-1. And, um, well, I'm not exactly sure about this cap. I don't really think my chances of getting in there are that good. So, moving on to the next cover. From here, I figure that I can't really spot anything, uh, and as opposed to my last replay, yes, I was actually using binoculars this time around. Because last time, I didn't even... Well, I knew that was a thing, I just didn't really use it enough. Got some experience points there from doing some capping, but really very little. Knocking over some sandbags here, so actually destroying my own cover, this is... A great way to show just how inexperienced I am with this game. Uh, it's a grand realistic battle, by the way, before I forget to mention. So, nothing there. Um, time to play this a bit more risky and move up. Because I see that there is another nice defensive position over there. And as I'm moving there, I'm spotting targets as much as possible. I don't exactly know how to switch to the camera that I can normally used. There is a Dicker Max over there on the left. The vehicle has taken some damage. Fortunately, nothing too critical. But I would love to get my unit repaired. So, trying to get back behind the wall as much as possible and commencing repairs. In the meanwhile, using the binoculars to start spotting whatever is over there. Because there are quite a lot of vehicles hiding back there. Uh, some fairly, ve well, fairly large vehicles that I have trouble dealing with. Dicker Max, the one that shot me over there, is still in its position. It's flanking uh, the M10 that you just saw getting destroyed. And, well, it needs to go if our team wants to move up. I don't particularly know why we would want to move up, because there's not really a whole lot here. Except the opportunity to get shot in the flanks from two different sides. But what I do like to do is just get rid of this Dicker Max. So... Preparing a shot, firing, hitting, knocking out the engine, or at least damaging it. And this is when my maneuverability comes into play very nicely. You can see the, the Dicker Max is trying to reverse into position. I take another fairly risky shot. Doing a bit of damage again. Not exactly a kill shot. And yes, I was warned about the British inability to do a lot of damage. This time, the shot comes from somewhere else. I take a bunch of damage. I don't exactly know where the shot came from. Uh, and just out of a precaution, I am popping some smoke. So I can get my unit repaired again. I really would like to get this thing fixed and maintain my spotting position. Because I am getting some experience bonuses, of course, from doing some detecting. Sadly, um, my smoke is about to run out. And the enemy unit that was on my flank is not. That is, if he doesn't just fire right through the smoke. Because there you go. Uh, that was actually a Jagdpanzer from behind me there. It was not a unit from up ahead, it was a Jagdpanzer from behind. Although the first shot, I do believe, came from up ahead. So, time to respawn. 
In the meanwhile, my team is doing quite well. We have most of the caps. Uh, the enemy has the A cap. And considering the amount of units at C, well, maybe I can force a breakthrough there and get to a better position. This time, using the Sark Mark VI, the six-pounder version of the Sark Mark VI. And with that, I have quite a nice amount of firepower on a fairly mobile package. Although at this point, I hadn't fully upgraded it yet. And as you can see, I'm still using my full ammo loadout, which is a mistake, as you might have commented by now. Don't bring a full ammo loadout because you're just driving a large tinderbox that does have a tendency to violently blow up when getting shot at. So, moving up. Uh, I do see that some of my allies around C are struggling. One of them just died. The enemy is losing still quite nicely, although... B is getting flipped. Actually, sorry, uh, my mistake. B is getting flipped in our favor. A is also getting flipped, so at this point we should be able to get all the caps. That means that at this position I'm not really needed. So I'm going to maneuver and try to intercept units that are heading towards B. At least that's the plan. And with this vehicle I can uh, fairly nimbly dance around these corners, although Sark... Well, it doesn't tip over. I haven't had a tip over, but it has a tendency to tip over. And right up ahead, I see a P-40. Immediately, I scout it out, marking it for the rest of the team. Sadly, I don't actually get a shot at it. And I'm just waiting for more units to come up. Now, there's the M4A1 over there, but I don't know that it is there. I can't see that, because, well, in the replay you can, but in the normal gameplay you can't. Because you gotta visually identify it first. Visually spot it, as opposed to arcade battles, of course. So, let's speed things up a little, because at this point I'm just cruising around town. And this is where it gets more interesting. Because now we got the P-40 and a sh 242 Moving up. There is the P-40 hit. Should have aimed a little lower. And there's the Stu, which is not eager to see me. I do get a shot. I do get the kill. And, um... I believe I got the kill anyway. There you go. The Stu explodes violently. The P-40 is still alive and looking at me. Which I could spot with the binoculars just looking over this concrete structure over here. But it is being engaged by other factors as well. I had no idea this Panzer 3L was over there. So there is even more than I need to be concerned about. Lovely. There's another unit that has just shown up, an M4A1. I scout, uh, I scout that out, I spot it for the team, mark it for attention, and I get a hit. And the ammunition exploded on the M4. Of course, they try to retaliate, so artillery barrage came in. I try to pull back, survive, and let's see what else I could shoot at. Slash intercept before it makes its to be. At this point, I'm trying to cross into B to make sure that I get the cap. But, uh, well, B over here on this map is, at least in my experience, pretty risky. Because it is an area that you can get into from all sorts of different vectors. I'm parking in the shade to make sure that I'm a little harder to detect, at least from the sky. And I might just be able to hear an enemy contact before I'm able to see the enemy contact. Because you're going to get very little warning. Fortunately, the Sark has a pretty decent uh, turret rotation, but, well, I'm going to need quite a lot of turret rotation to keep this unit safe. Hopefully, I can get it. Uh-oh. I know there's something out there. I could hear it. But it is still coming my way, and it probably knows I'm here, too. What? No, 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 turret left, 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 left. Shoot. Crew knocked out. That very nearly killed me, because he definitely spotted me, and I took way too long actually getting him. So, able to get the cap without further contest. Very nice, cap secure, let's continue. Where do we go next? I'm going back to C, but mostly I'm trying to leave the area of B, because I really don't want to be there. Um, considering that the enemy is probably rushing more units my way. So I'm moving up and completely oblivious to this Panzer IV. The Panzer IV is not oblivious to me. Shoots me in the back and I get 
a fairly violent way to die. Still, uh, so far the team's doing, again, quite well. We have a lot of points. They don't really have a lot of tickets left. So, time to respawn. What do I have next? The standard Sark Mark VI with a two-pounder gun. Once again, racing through the city blocks. Trying to get to a position where I can be useful. And this time around I'm going to A. Because, according to the map, there are at least three contacts at A. And there aren't that many players left on the enemy team, so I might be able to flank these guys and be able to help cap A or at least free up the enemy positions so that I have my allies who are able to cap A. So moving up and just kind of drifting through the turn, I spot the Panzer 38, oh, sorry, the, the Jagd Panzer 38T. I scout it out and it is busy shooting other allies. So I get the kill, and now I can move into A. Completely oblivious, of course, as to what was happening behind me. I probably should have popped some smoke to make sure I wasn't getting shot at from that side. I am very much trying to incorporate using more smoke in my gameplay, but I can only try and uh, apply so many new skills in any given game. So, in a position, I slide into place here, get ready for anything that happens to rumble around the corner, and I work on the cap. B has been flipped back to the enemy team. Uh, the enemy team, by the way, is, and my color is not the usual red, because for a colorblind person like myself, it's harder to see. So that's why I changed the enemy color. A capped. Where do we go next? Not quite sure at this point. Um, we have a large team. We have two caps. We don't really need to do anything. So, I consider going back to C2, where there was an enemy unit. Now, I think hitting this oil drum here kind of saved me, because otherwise I would have ended up in this artillery barrage. And a Cromwell is firing at something behind me. That's not necessarily good, but I'm not sure if there's anything out there. And there is, apparently. There's an M15 that just blew up one of our friends. Not great. Time for me to get out of here. I want to try and get the drop on people. I really don't want to do a, uh, let's say, a brawl against an enemy target. I don't want to try and do a longer range gunnery duel like that. Not what this tank does best. Well, tank. Uh, what this vehicle does best. Looking over to see if there's anything out there. There is not. Moving up. At this point I'm thinking, you know what? We've done quite well. The team seems to be winning very nicely. I got quite a few caps, I got some kills, this is looking like a good match. All we need to do now is engage B, recapture it, and get some more points. So that's what I'm doing. I have support over there from, what is that, I can barely make that out, uh, that M4, which is heading away from the cap for some reason or another. Look at this graveyard of vehicles here. Lots and lots of players have died here. Uh, and they probably won't be the last ones, because they were trying to once again artillery me. Once again, trying to park in the shade, making sure I don't get detected. Taking up my position on the other side again, and preparing for vehicles to potentially come rumbling in right through the south entry. B countercapped. It's neutral. But in the meanwhile, they have taken A, which I just had. And they have flipped C. Great. Why is my team losing this? I don't like this. Still, as long as we get some caps, at least I get some experience. And at the same time, I'll be able to, well, hopefully rumble over to another cap. And just get that cap and start ticking again. So right now, it's not going that well. So, heading on to C. We still have the lead. We still have points. We still have tickets. And the enemy team <coughs> uh, has quite a few casualties already. But they still have quite a lot of active vehicles. And of course, this menu you cannot see during the normal gameplay. So let's pretend that I don't know what is out there. And now I see the Panzer IV-H. I think, oh crap. Oh crap. And I immediately race back to cover. Trying to get up here. <coughs> and wait for assistance. Because I know that I have allies here. There's an M22 Locust. There is an M4 Sherman behind me. I should have enough allies to deal with this unit. I already have it scouted out, though. 
So if it gets engaged, if it takes damage or if it, if it gets killed, I will get some experience. And there you go, <coughs> unit is down. Got some nice intelligence bonuses for that. And now we can continue capping the C sector again. Just as I cap C, the enemy gets B. Like, you cannot leave these guys alone for a second, because they will immediately recapture whatever I just capped. So, taking the Sark out again, going for another nice drive through the countryside, and trying to get back to another position. I have no idea that 10525 is over there, the M43. And I don't really care, because uh, I'm going to try and get back to B. So the guy over there is not really that much of a factor for me. So, going back... Rushing back in. Hopefully nothing out there. Oh boy, I didn't see that. He did see me and he shot me, but I managed to narrowly escape. And I still don't even recognize that I was getting shot at, I think. Although at this point I go, oh shit, 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 shit. And I get uh, damaged. I'm not exactly sure what got damaged. It probably wasn't pretty. Uh, yeah, my driver's uh, taking a nap. I did get the kill there. Swinging the turret around to try and get some more damage in on the Panzer IV over there. And at this point, I believe my driver wakes up again, so I can start moving again. There is another Panzer IV out there. I have taken some damage. I don't want to do this fight with a half... Well, not a half-dead crew, but... Uh, my crew is definitely not doing as well as they normally would. So, let's take a slightly safer position here and try to capture B again. Because, oh... Because we need the caps. Yeah, but there was a Panzer IV hiding in the shadows. And it just got me. Alright, alright. The enemy team is almost dead. I know I keep saying that, but hey, it's got to be true at some point. Here we go. Next vehicle. The Stewart. The M3. I quite like this vehicle. Um, you can... Well, it's for a tracked vehicle ridiculously fast. And you can really power through turns. The only thing that it's lacking a bit is firepower. I found that sometimes you just struggle to deal with enemies. Uh, unfortunately. But overall, I quite like this tank. Um, use it as a spotter. Use it as... Well, not so much a spotter as in I can highlight enemies for my team. But I can at least engage the enemy uh, or mark targets for my squad. Which especially is useful if you're playing with people on Discord. So, uh, once again, I have too much of an ammo loadout. I have 106 shells. That's way more than I need. It's just a great way to get yourself blown up. Time to cruise around through the town once more, trying to get to C. And considering that the enemy has C, there might be somebody out here. I don't know exactly where they are. But, um, well, at this point, I suspect that it's empty. And it is not I, however, had not seen this guy here. I was so busy looking around trying to find targets either there or there that I had no idea Painkiller224 in his 105-2543, which I think I had a very narrow brush with before, was there. I'm not even sure he knows I'm here. Yeah, he knows I'm here. But this is a very nice position for him, because he just blends in. And I managed to just park my tank right in front of him. And of course I get exactly what I deserve. Oh man, that was not my proudest moment. But hey, it taught me that this is an interesting position. And I'm going to use that knowledge the next time and I will do better. At this point, I'm thinking, why the hell is my team losing this badly? We had this. We had the caps. The enemy team was dying very quickly. What is happening? I have a backup steward, so I'm going to take it out once again. And this time around, I am uh, running right into some trouble. Because I spot the 7534, the M43 over there. But I do not spot the Panzer III right up in front. So as you can see, I'm quite busy dealing with that guy. Uh, I take some shots. Interestingly, I take no damage from the Panzer III. Because, well, in my experience, everything that sneezes at the M3 just does damage. I power around the turn, I try to shoot through this tram, get some damage, but sorry, no, get a non-pen. Uh, the M43 is still working on something else, or disabled, I'm not sure. 
And we just kind of do a merry chase around the area here. I get some more ricochets. I'm on fire. I don't care about being on fire. I need to do damage against this guy. Lest the fire is going to be unimportant. So at this point, my engine's taken damage. Uh, I'm on fire again. My fire extinguisher has not been uh, reset yet. Now it has. And I push it again. So I'm extinguishing the fire. He apparently cannot extinguish his fire. But I die before he does. He does manage to extinguish his fire. And I think that was about the last vehicle that I had. Because this is about to end. No, sorry, I have one more vehicle. The anti-air gun. This is the AECAA. Uh, I don't really like this one. I've already replaced it by the time that you're watching this video. I don't like it because it's a bit slow. And I really need to learn how to aim against aircraft. But then again, at this point, the battle was essentially over. And I just... Well... I thought I did great during this battle, but my team just didn't do well enough, and I lost anyway. The result screen, fortunately, was quite good. There we go. 3605 experience, 0 plane kills, 5 ground target kills, 1 kill assist, 5 zone captures, 5 deaths. That made me the best player of my team, uh, almost the best player of the entire match, but the Demoliran guy who destroyed me once, or maybe twice even, I don't know, as well as Dian beat me to the score. Really enjoyed this match, really enjoyed powering through this match, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions on how to improve, then please let me know down below in a comment. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.